Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about the film, because you allegedly had a kind of fight with Brad Pitt over getting the rights. Oh, I don't know about a fight with Brad Pitt. You mean <laughs> like a good. physical one, Sounds like a good. wrestling match? No, no, I, I, that's all the stuff that kind of happens behind the scenes. I, I, all I know is I think there was a bidding war of some kind for the, for the novel. Mm -hmm. um, but I became fascinated with this book because it was, Jordan Belfort was so candid and honest about his account of his, of his very debaucherous wild time uh, in, in Wall Street in the late 80s, early 90s. And to me, it was reflecting something within our very culture, mm -hmm. you know, the, the sort of rampant attitude of, of doing, you know, what is essentially right for yourself on a daily basis. I don't know, is he an attractive character in some ways or not for you? I think the lifestyle is attractive and that's what's interesting. Yeah. I think that so many people are, are fascinating fascinated with living like some sort of Roman emperor, you know, and it's, it's an in incredible destructive, incredibly destructive quality to have in, mm. in today's day and age. Irony of our film is that a lot of these people got bonuses after they decimated our economy, you know, and, 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 and for us it was just about being as authentic as possible in our portrayal of what their life was and what was so enticing about that lifestyle. Um, he was indicted. Yes. And left lots of people damaged. Yes. You see, I know you've, you've spent time with him, haven't you? Yes, I have. Is he apologetic about what happened? Incredibly, incredibly. Look, he, he look, wrote this book as a cautionary tale. Mm -hmm. And he's done everything he possibly can to repay his debt to society since then. For me, the fact that he was so honest in his account of his time on Wall Street and where he w sort of went astray and, and how he got consumed by power and greed was, mm. was fascinating to me. You just don't get people that are that honest about it because a lot of this stuff is incredibly embarrassing and it's all true. Everything in this movie is true. The most extraordinary way to get into a Ferrari, I think you have to win the <laughs> prize for that. <laughs> was that inspired by him? There's a sequence in the movie that I feel like a lot of people are talking about because it's almost like a film within the film. It's, it's my character that uh, consumes these incredibly powerful quaaludes given to me by my partner who is giving it to me as an apology for screwing up a money deal. Then I find out that he's communicating with uh, Swiss bankers when and simultaneously phone my phone is bugged by the FBI. So it's this whole sort of journey of me trying to get home whacked out of my head on quaaludes and I'm writhing around on the floor like some sort of grub worm. I mean looking at the kind of lifestyle they had it was extraordinary the yachts the helicopters the, all the rest of it and we mere mortals assume that you know you see you see that in your given what you do and all the rest mm -hmm. of it how do you avoid that kind of that attitude in your life? I, I uh, look I've seen a lot of it I've experienced a lot of uh, things in my life but um, my attitude isn't like these people in this movie, quite frankly. The film is, of course, Joanna Lumley, who is a national treasure here in the UK. Yes, she Did is. You, and you make a pass at her. Yes, I do. <laughs> I think we kind of thought of that on the day because... It looked like you did. Yeah, we kind of pushed the extremes with that a little bit. But she was, she was getting into the flirtation of it as well, and, but we, we had a nice little moment there. There are rumours that you are going to go try to go to space. Hmm. Are you going to do that? Well, it was a it was a charitable auction, okay. and I sort of volunteered myself to go up in in space, and I'm I'm excited about it. Are you? Yeah. You're not scared? Of course, you know I'm not I'm not Superman, so of course I'm concerned about the safety precautions. But uh, from what I understand, it's incredibly safe. So you've got no date set. Not as of yet, but we're I'm going to do it. Are I'm you? Do it, yeah. Why do you want to do that? I mean, who wouldn't? I wouldn't. Really. No Sounds way. amazing. Does it? Yeah, absolutely. To be floating up there and looking down on planet Earth. How many how many chances do you get to do that in life? As long as it's safe, of course, and from what I understand it is. Yeah. It's absolutely lovely to meet you. Thank you very much and good Thank luck you. with the space travel. Thank you so travel much. Travel safely. Uh, wish